everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I've been away for a little bit. Um, there's been a lot of things going on in the last several months that uh, just have taken a lot of my time. Uh, but today I'm back and today I'm going to cook up this little guy. Uh, just a small little squash. This is a spaghetti squash and I'm going to cook them up uh, and I'm going to make a really nice little appetizer kind of a dish. Hey, stick around. Now that the hard part is over, getting the squash opened is the hard part. So what I did was I, I, I sliced off the ends and I made them nice and flat, both sides. And then I laid them upright like this and I took my knife and went straight down the middle and that's how I was able to open it. They can be a little tough to open sometimes. That's probably why a lot of people don't really like to cook them. Um, and inside you'll see that there's some there's some flesh here on the inside of this. It, and you need to take that out. And you see it's got some seeds in there. Now if you want it to, you could take these seeds that are here and you can lay them out on a paper towel and you could um, dry them out and in the spring you can plant them in the yard if you wanted to and then you could have your own spaghetti squashes just growing like crazy uh, but I'm not going to do that I'm going to take this all out and uh, on both of them and show you what I do next okay so I have both of these cleaned out can you see and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil around and, and coat the inside. I'm going to get a little salt, a little pepper, all right. Then I'm going to cook these flesh side down in the oven at 375 for about 35 40 minutes. And uh, then we're going to do something really cool. Stick around. All right, so I have taken my olive oil and I have coated the inside of each one of these. I've also given the, the bottom of the, the pan a little dusting of nice coating of uh, olive oil. We're going to take a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. You can put a little bit more in there. Not too much. And if you want to add a little bit of garlic powder, now would be a good time to do that. Kind of just brings out the flavor a little bit. I never can have too much garlic. Anyway, so uh, my oven is currently heating up right now, and as soon as it heats up, I'm going to turn these over. I'm going to cook them flesh side down. For about 30, 35, 40 minutes, somewhere in there at 375. While my oven is heating up, I'm going to make the filling for these squash, spaghetti squash. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Italian, sweet Italian. Uh, ground sausage. Take that paper off that. There you go. I'm going to chop up a red and yellow bell pepper. I have a small onion. I'm going to chop that up. I have a can of stewed tomatoes. And I have some parmesan 
Romano cheese. Two cloves of minced chopped garlic. Two cloves of minced chopped garlic. And some mozzarella cheese. Okay, well the oven just got ready, so we're going to, I've turned them flesh side down. I'm going to put them on the lower middle rack. I'm going to cook them uncovered. Set my timer. I'm going to go about 30 minutes. I'll bring While that. my squash is cooking, I'm going to get started on my filling. Turn this oven on. And I have my Italian sausage in here. There we go. Just break it up. So some good, good bite-sized pieces. Brown that up a little bit. While we're doing that browning, I'm going to go ahead and add in my red and yellow bell peppers. We're just going to stir it all together. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in my small chopped onion. Where's my spoon? There's my spoon and my minced garlic. And that's it for right now. We're going to get this all mixed in together. And we're going to let it come to a nice brown. Oh, it already smells good. You notice I haven't put any salt and pepper on there yet. So, let me do that right now. Just a little bit of pepper. See, that's enough, right? And a little bit of salt. I'll probably need to add more pepper. A little bit, a little bit of salt. Now that I have this all browned up nicely, I'm going to go ahead and I turn it down to a simmer. All right, and I'm going to add in my Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to toss that in there. Oh, don't worry. There's more. All right, now I'm going to put my stewed tomatoes in. I have to use canned because I didn't grow a garden this year. Um, it's just been so busy. I didn't make any of my own tomatoes. So I have to use canned stewed tomatoes. But you know, they're not that bad. That's a pretty good brand. So, you know, 
So that cheese is melting in there nicely. Get it all coated and flavorful. There we go. So the timer went off. So let's take this out. Turn this over just like so. Oh, does that look so good? Oh, it smells yummy too. All right. So, for those of you who have never had a spaghetti squash and you're wondering why they call it a spaghetti squash, the reason is that when you cook your squash, all right, this is going to be a little bit tricky. So, it's a clean towel, but when you cook your squash and then you shred your squash, you see it looks like spaghetti. So, we take our fork, what's hot, and we just shred the inside of our squash like so. Let me put this back down. It's really hot. Uh, oh. Try it again. And you just shred the inside. And that's why it looks like it looks like spaghetti squat. It looks like spaghetti. And it, you know, it's really a, has a a mildly sweet. It's a, it's a mild sweet flavor really nice flavor to it okay so there we just got that shredded up like so we're gonna do the other one because we're not done yet Ooh. I'm gonna shred this one up you can smell that garlic oh that smells so good Now again, this is really hot. It just came out right out of the oven. All right. Now we're just gonna put this right back in our dish, just like so. And we are going to scoop over here. Remember we put that little Parmesan cheese over there on top of that. We mix it all up. Now this is what we're going to do. We're going to scoop this up and we're going to put this right on top. Just like so. That right on top. Come on now. There we go. Okay. Yes, I have a little bit of filling left. It's okay because I can use it for something else a little bit later. 
All right. You know I gotta have a taste of this. Oh, that's so good. All right. So we had the Parmesan cheese in there. I had a little bit more Parmesan cheese I want to put on there, just a little bit on the top. Now some mozzarella. All right, we're going to put this back in the oven for just about, you know, 10 minutes until the cheese melts. And then we're going to eat it. It's going to be done. All right, and it is done. So there you have it. Spaghetti squash with Italian sausage and cheese. I don't know another fancy way to put it. That is what it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.